follow it all the way back to the back part of the spine and cut down. Okay. Now, you've got to use a very sharp knife, so be careful. I've cut myself many times, and you don't want to do that. It could ruin your whole day, you know what I mean? Okay, so then I'm going to cut along, along the, uh, the back of the uh, spine all the way down to the tail, like so. And you, you know, you got to kind of feel for the, uh, the, the bone in the middle, and you can feel it, and you can hear it, and you kind of follow it all the way down to the end of the tail. Okay, so then we're gonna just kind of fillet it down as you're like so. Here, I'm gonna show you guys here. So, this is kind of what it's gonna look like after I made the first cut all the way down right by the, uh, the bone and the back of the spine here. And then, uh, Maybe I could keep keep it this way here and, and you can see exactly what I'm doing. So you're gonna kinda lay it down as you go, like so, kinda lift up here, lift up on the fish as you're laying it so you know exactly you kinda follow the follow the back of the spine. You see that? Wow. You see nothing but bone there. You know, so you want to get as much meat so you're not wasting the meat at all. So we pretty much got this one to lay it all the way down. Okay. fish, you gotta cut down into it and down the stomach, nice clean cut, Take as much meat as you can. What I like to do is kind of cut it through here and you don't want to cut it all the way off because we're going to skin it also here. So we're going to make it a real easy way to skin it. Now this part here, there's a little bit of bonage, so you got to kind of work it through. So through it. Like so. You should bleed the fish. You should always bleed the fish before you uh, do this, so there's not as much red blood in the meat. Mm -hmm. That's something I forgot to do today. You know, when you're out fishing, you get really excited and you got a fish on. You're just like, you know, I've been thinking about it, but it's something that you should do. It'd be a good habit. Now you're gonna see some blood from the meat. Now, if you bleed the fish while it's still alive. The, the heartbeat's gonna kind of make the uh, the blood vessels pump all the blood out of the meat. So we got some blood here, but nothing to worry about because I'm gonna clean this up. So after the fillet, it's gonna look something like this here. See that? And you see the little bit of blood in there because of um, it not being bled out. Okay. And as you can see here, there's like nothing but bone and right down here. So what we're gonna do is turn it backwards and um, why does I go from the tail in here and we kind of cut down into the meat and we're gonna ride it. You're gonna feel it, feel the knife down. You're gonna just kind of ride it around up. The skin's pretty tough so you kind of ride it down the skin. So you kind of do it nice and smooth like this and you're gonna get a nice, nice fat fillet. 
link card, you know, for me, I think it's one of the best dishes to eat for like the white meat besides halibut. If you do it right, the fish and chips, uh, barbecue, wrap it in tin for or with some seasoning, seasoning dry rub or uh, some spicy seasoning, whatever, however you like it, you know. So kind of full up on the skin at the same time like I'm doing as I, I'm not cutting down, I'm just kind of giving it pressure and letting the knife kind of work itself all the way down, like so. Now, there's a little bit of boneage here, you can just get to a little bit of access right there. And, and basically all you're going to see is some skin there, that's it, the skin. Okay, so you should have a nice fat fillet, like so. Yeah, you know. So what I like to do is um, cut it in half and then I portion it out, rinse it off and put, uh, I like tail, tail pieces for me, I think uh, are better eating, but that's, that's all about preference, it doesn't matter how you like to do it, you know, and what pieces you like to eat, but I like to cut them in half and then portion them out and then rinse them off. So we got two nice steaks there. It's probably about, I would say about six, six pounds of meat right there, just on one filet, one filet there. So I'll probably get about 12 pounds of meat here. So what we're gonna do is gonna rotate the fish over. Now I always wanna keep the back, you know what I mean? The back side facing me. You know, the first time I kind of rotated so you guys could see how I was doing it. Um, you know, what I do is I just kind of, you know, sometimes people cut off the head after they're done filleting it. They like to make fish soup or whatever, you know. But, you know, I've got a couple heads in the freezer. And, um, I, don't, I don't really eat the head. There's a lot of meat along the cheekbones and the back of the neck and shoulders of the head. But, uh. I, I usually give it to like, you know, mother-in-laws or, or uh, family members. They like to make fish head soup. But when I was a little kid, I used to eat the eyeballs out of the fish heads. And you know, I really didn't know better, but I thought, I thought it would make me see better. So uh, I don't know <laughs> if, it, if it really does or not. <laughs> it was just kind of one of the things I, I loved to do when I was a kid. I would actually, you know, fight with my little brother, Randy, and I was like, I get the fish eyes. <laughs> well, you get the fish eyes, but they were kind of chewy, and then I think about it, I'm like, what the hell was I doing? <laughs> and I, I don't eat fish eyes no more. So I kind of flake them to tell them up now this side here so we're gonna now the first time you know the first time I was kind of like just taking my time showing you guys you know but you know I like to if I if, if I'm like in a hurry I'll, I'll do a quick fillet and I'll get this baby done real quick usually just you know getting around the neck here there's some bonage so you know that probably is what takes the longest I pretty much already got the lower end already filleted out and ready to go. So my buddy Jun Saka, we were fishing today. And man, he's just a funny guy. <laughs> yeah, I like fishing with him. He wanted me to play his fish, and I was like, yeah, bring it over, and we'll play, play it up. Lived all the way in Puyallup. So I uh, had a long drive. We fished out on Woody Island today. No. I don't only love eating fish, you know. Um, you know, I, I love fishing, you know. Um, certain kind of fish, certain times of the year. This time of the year, you know, we get a fish lean cod for, uh, you know, about a month out of the year. So, the stomach, I really, I really don't eat a lot of the stomach, so I kind of cut down on the stomach here. I mean, 
it could actually be good, but um, some of it has real fatty content here. Uh, but I think I'm gonna cut some of that stomach off. I'm good with that. <laughs> kind of go around the stomach and cut some of that off. All the way down. Okay. So now basically we're gonna do the same thing. You got one nice fat slab of meat. You got I me. Mean, this is this is this is what's left after I'm done. You see, you see that. Like I could pretty much just almost transparent. I could almost see right through here. There's like literally hardly any meat off the bone. You know. Now the the the, the meat I'm talking about, like behind the head, if you can see it here, like right here, you can see. Along here, you see all this meat, and uh, you know people like to make fish head soup. They boil this up, and and you could probably get a nice meal of uh, f uh, fish fish here along the neck here. There's a lot of meat in there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, right along here. And whatnot. Um, cut down as far as I can without cutting it off where there's just enough meat like I did on the first one there. Cut down here and flay it down again. Now I'm going to use a really sharp knife is the best way. I mean, that way it's just kind of effortless. You, know, you barely have to work on it but you know these bigger fish you gotta kinda of take your time you know you wanna get a nice fillet out of it and uh, you gotta make sure the knife is big enough for the fillet that will ride the uh, the fillet from side to side there's a wide piece of meat you know the little bit smaller fish are a little bit easier to fillet. Little bigger pieces are, they get a little wider at the bottom of the, of the fillet here. So it makes it a little bit harder to fillet, but as long as you keep the pressure on the knife, some meat here. <laughs> wow, so I'm gonna cut this one in half too and do like I did with the last one. So you're gonna go over here and rinse it off. Oh, cold water. You know a lot of people don't like to rinse their meat off, so what they they say is like, you know, just rinse it off a little bit and then call it good, you know. But uh, make sure the water's really cold. So you're gonna do it like that. I'm gonna take some of the ziplocs here and have them ready to go. Wow. It really get better than this, man. That, that's, that's like primo. Like seriously. Woo! That's what I'm talking about right there. I take these prime cuts of uh, green cod meat. And I put uh, one portion, one portion in one bag in a Ziploc freezer bag. <laughs> 